here we are, and this is part two of the scenario Under the Sands in the campaign Invasion from the Unknown, played by Cyber Neuro Druid, designed by Eris Morel, aka Shadow M. Okay, so the situation is this we've dealt with the first leader after a somewhat embarrassing start. We can. Our next objective is to try and hold off these blue forces. The blue forces are not. If truth be told, too terrifying, though they are units that can take down spectres relatively easily, and since my main force consists of spectres, that is not great. So, fortunately none of them are hugely fast or mobile units or powerful in that way, so I can keep on, oh, but there's an assault drone, that's worth knowing about. Okay, I'm going to keep on attacking this. Okay, it's not a kill, but uh, we're getting there. And there's no great rush over here. So everyone just move as fast as you can over this way. You were uh, you powered as fast as you could, but actually I'm going to put you there so that you get some health. Well, Kesha, you want some health too, just a little bit. I mean, you've got 95 health. You've got nothing much to be worried about now, um, even against these demons and uh, invokers. But I need to get people over here who are better at dealing with this sort of unit. Well, I really don't have that many units for this. My gold is creeping up, so I should soon be able to recruit some new friends. Still, I mean, if I if I rule out everyone who's weak against arcane damage, that basically leaves me with a few elves here in the middle and Erethan, and also Igor. Okay, meanwhile the bat is going to... Ah, there we go. So that is a dangerous avenue to explore because it will lead to me getting zapped by a fire monster. I can just nip in there and nip back though. Okay, so I see a little bit more. There's lots of fire units down here. They're nasty against spectres, but my spectres are extremely nasty against them as well. They take very, very large amounts of arcane damage. So yeah, you just fly back for now. We've got some nice map revealed there. And I'm going to put Erethan up here. I think this row is probably the best place to take this fight, if I have time. And it is a long map, there's still a lot more of this map to go. <clears throat> None of these units are strong, remember, but they all do nasty damage against spectres and undead in general. Has everyone moved? Yep, good. Okay, so they inch forward. This is taking us far too long. Make haste, you fools! Okay, Malkeshar thinks that uh, we need to push forward. Um, I'm reluctant. If he goes there, he'll be in the light, which is not great for him. If he goes here, he will be at 40% defense. Still, I mean, he is a bit of a cannon, so uh, let's go for it. Okay, and you, Erethan, can come up behind. And we're pushing now, so this is good. But, one thing to bear in mind, there is a, an assault drone here uh, that can reach me. So it might be that it's better to... yeah, I'm going to need to back up here a bit, because these green assault drones, wherever they're coming from, um, I don't want them to, to kill all my units.
You are still there. If you're, if you're still in range. If, if I do that, um, which is annoying. But it's only you, and you can either attack that spectre, um, or you can attack Alinea. Ah, uh, no. You don't, I don't, I, the only the one person I really don't want to be in range, ah, oh, you're in range of the Shide as well, that's annoying. But it's not the end of the world. Okay, so I want you to fly up so that you, you're not in range of that assault drone because uh, you can't even defend yourself. Okay, we might see three units suicide themselves onto Malkeshar here. Oh, and the bat hasn't moved yet. That could and should go up here. Yeah, good. There we go. No, they're just not. Um, they're just not moving. Okay, you'll. you'll yeah. Oh, forty-four damage. That's just obscene. Oh, god. Oh no. <laughs> um. Right. Okay. Backup plan needed. Um. Something to take out this guy. Um. First of all, Malkeshar, you get into the. Hit the hay. Oh, oh, nuts. Okay, hmm. That spectre now is in not the greatest of positions. At least it can only be attacked by a few people. But at least that means that I've spotted one undead minion. You can't range it. And these other spectres now, first of all, Alinea. So can the bat get the kill? Not quite. And I don't have any leadership units. That's a shame. So do I want Erethan to get closer to a level up? That's probably my best bet. But first of all, I need to deal with this guy. Spectres go full on, and now I think I should be okay on this front. Um, need to still need to don't need to forget that this guy's still around. Um, I really can't kill it with the bat. Um, so just so very tempting. Um, I'll move you back into the forest so that you'll get healed when I do this. Okay, took a little bit, bit of damage, but it's not the end of the world. Um, Revelia, you're close to a level anyway. Erethan... Can you take this guy out? Not so much on your own, and you're still too weak for me to really trust you with this. So, I'm going to hold you back for now. Or at least, if one person can go in and try and attack you if they want to, maybe that would be actually be better than everyone attacking Malkishar. So I'll put you here. Um, and then Rebellia come forward a bit. You can come over. Actually, maybe you can come down here. Might be more useful to have you fight alongside the spectres. No one can reach you in that spot, so you move on forward, and the bat.
but Blue's troops are looking a bit weaker now. Okay, Erethan is absolutely useless. I'm going to need magic attacks for this one. Demon in Mushrooms is a nasty opponent to have to face. Okay, if I could be confident that you would get the kill, I would send you in here, but I'm actually not. Still, there's no backup here. So it's actually tempting to go in with touch attack from Melkeshar and then try and finish it off with Rebellion. Because I can get some health back if I do that as well. Come on, alright, yeah, let's do it. Hmm, not brilliant. Alright, still, three hits. Perfect. Alright, and uh, Rebellia gets an after maximum level advancement, which will make her a bit chonkier in the future. Erethan, you've got very little to lose by doing that. Now, you've actually, it looks like you've got pretty decent arcane resistance. Yeah, you have. I didn't realize that. Okay, maybe you're not a complete waste of space after all. Come forward a bit with Igor, who's gradually getting that 44 health back that he lost in a single turn. Um, this leech has regenerated. Um, there are a few enemies waiting to strike down here. Um, I feel like I should try and pressure this guy. I mean, these guys, especially when, when defending a good spot like that, they're actually pretty difficult to dislodge. And you, the weakened one, I think it's a very bad idea. If I come down and attack the tree, I'm opening myself up to a lot of nasty enemies. Yeah, I just don't really want to take that many hits. Well, there's only you. I'm being a bit cowardly here. Okay, you can get in, no one else can, and that means that what I was going to do here is something that I can still do, which is to put you there, see if you can do some damage. You sure can, nice work, okay, you've actually weakened this guy so much that the bat might be able to take care of him. Lovely. Okay. Lovely stuff. The bat has managed to take care of him. You get the house. And now I am over here relatively safe unless they're invisible creatures, which they probably are. Blue is actually backing up here. Blue is actually going, whoa! Alright, Erethan predictably fails to get the kill. Well, that's better.
good work. Everyone over here is slow in caves, it seems. I think Galas is the only one who's actually fast on cave terrain. But I do have spectres, and this is where they shine. Blue player is not dead yet. There is a um, an eye stalk over here. Does the, do any of these spectres need free food? Um, this one does. The eye stalk definitely cannot move. None of these guys can reach this far. All right. So there's a drone down there. That's not a problem. Okay. There's a drone over there. That's not a problem either. Alright, the Matrix flow system is dead. Now these guys I think will respawn, so there's no point particularly coming over here and taking them out. Nor this eye stalk, to be honest, it's a lot of experience, but uh, I'm not desperate for experience right now. Let's put you over here. Uh, yeah, no. You know, I um, I said I wasn't a huge fan of night gaunts. Ah, I'm still not, but um, they are useful in certain situations. It's uh, got to be allowed. This drone will come out if I attack. If I if I get this this village, that's okay. That one can't. Okay. Yeah. All right. And there are a few more units down here that I'm going to have to aggro anyway, sooner or later. Um, but I, I would rather do that with my elves. No, Kashar is right though, this is taking a long time. Relatively low hit chance on the ice stalk. And Malkeshar almost finishes it off. More drones down here. It seems like going across the fire is the more sensible choice, despite everything. What in the name of the Dark Gods is that thing? It seems to be filled with larvae of those hideous creatures. Should we destroy it? It shouldn't hurt to get rid of a few of them before they have a chance to hatch. Okay, so there is a Matrix core over here. So actually, okay, that, that means it is a good idea to come down here. There are enemies on their way. Um, who gets aggroed if I go there? Not the drone, not you, one of the fire guys, that's okay. Alright, not super impressive. And this spot's actually fine too, so... Deathy, I hope if you get lucky you can get the kill here. Yeah, perfect. And if you go down there you will aggro everyone and their grandmother, so don't do that just yet. I want to move my main force. You're the fastest, you grab that house. Everyone else just go, go, go. Arathun is going to be playing Sir Slow's role of catch-up, I think. I wonder if these fire folks are going to respawn. I 
still no need to aggro anyone in this corridor. And this corridor doesn't seem to have all that many people in it, so what happens if we go a bit nearer? There's a fire dude, yeah, the fire person will... How vulnerable are you to cold damage? Minus 60. And you, your melee attack is... yeah, you'll, you will melee attack me, won't you? Okay, well that's okay. I'd rather lure you out so that you don't attack me later. And I'll bring the Night Gaunt down here too. Okay, there's invisible people around. Beware. And they, they didn't actually, despite what I said, they didn't actually come out and fight me. Okay, there's a few drones down here. I'm gonna go for it. Oh. So you, if you go there, um, you'll block anyone from coming in on that side. It's a pity you can't block more, actually. Now you can all come round. Big free-for-all. And Malkeshar, I think, and, my, and the main body of my units is going to have to push up the middle. And maybe you go there to block any potential skirmishing nastiness. Still not quite sure whether to commit here. I think actually probably the best bet is to use my main units and just bring the spectres over here where they're going to do more work. If you go, if, yeah. If you go there, you can be attacked by the drones, but not by anyone else. And the there's not there's not a huge um, range of possibilities. And you just hop down here. You as well. Don't know if you'll be any use, but you might be. And that means that then you can come and get. You know, you, get, you getting health is actually less essential than the spectre getting it, so I feel like I want to put the spectre on there. Um, and then you just come. Got good gold income now, that's something. Alright, let's see what happens. green units coming this way. The, none of the none of the fire units have even been remotely aggroed yet. That is weird. You try and kill that invisible person. Um, a Malkeshar can come over here and suck the life out of this tree. And that means that he's gonna that everyone's gonna attack him, but that's fine. Good stuff, he's on almost full health, so he can take whatever gets thrown at him. Now I want to focus on what's going on down here. Good, 
the linear U. Good, that guy's out of the way. And now these guys, I think, ought to be able to tag team the Matrix Core. First U, because, um... Well, maybe not first U, maybe... How much damage are you going to do? That much. Alright, I don't even need you to backstab particularly. So you go down there and deal 36 damage, and then the, the, uh, the Spectre will get the kill. Beautiful death animation there, and Slashy is almost at another level. All right, how 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 good are elves against fire? Well, they're not bad against fire, and the only person who can reach them is these two at the moment. So. Could put you there, could put Aerith on there, who's got a bit better de Oh no, he doesn't actually have the best defense, unless he goes there. And I don't want to put him there, because then he's going to be within range. What about there? Yeah, that's the ticket. So okay, he, can get, he could get attacked by three fire units this turn. And I should retreat back out of here because this path doesn't go anywhere useful. Maybe I should just go straight in. I think actually there's not much to be lost by me going straight in and attacking this guy. Can the drones fly over lava? Yeah they can, but they can't fly far enough. Alright, one down. For my next trick, you can go there, and you actually stay where you are, get that last point of health back, and you can fly up here, and come up behind. I'd rather this this guy didn't come out and attack my spectre. And maybe I could actually prevent that by preempting it. If I put Deathy here, then it will be less of a blocker. Yeah, I'll do that. And only one of them can get round. Yep, the monsters are not in a hurry. <laughs> Probably not surprisingly, there's no reason for them to be in a hurry. You're going to pop out as soon as you can do a ton of damage, so should be scared of you. And I need to get Elinia back to the main body of the battle. What happens if I scout a bit down here? What can I see? More fire units. Alright. One hit KO from MK himself. Little bastard. How much health do you have? 11. Okay, can I kill you with a... 
And it's a lawful area here. That's the interesting thing. Yeah, a bit worried for Blady. Okay, one thing I can't do with Malkeshar is kill these guys who are floating. So all he can do is push forward. And before I do that, I would like to be a little bit more certain that my units are safe. So, first things first, Igor. Alright, Erethan, you go one forward. That was absolutely pathetic. Can I do any better with Erethan here? Um, maybe not. Maybe I think ranged. All right, this guy clearly is is you know is nasty. Um, if I put the, the bat is going to get is going to get absolutely owned here if I uh, if I let it try and do anything. So let's see what I can do down here instead. Shame I can't quite get into position to do that. No one can get around the back other than the bat, who I don't want to go around the back. Now you can do damage. And should. And should get your health back, I hope. Beautiful. Excellent. All right, now I have two spectres who've had two after maximum level advancements. Are these guys level zero? Yes. Okay, that's good. That means I can move around them without actually causing issues. Uh, and that means you can go there. And you... <laughs> if you actually hit, which you probably won't. Yeah, no hits. Right, now I want you to die. You two press on. You can go here, and if the fire dude really wants to come down here, then that's actually okay. Um, looks like I've got a bit of straight line ahead of me, at least, which I need, because um, I'm acutely conscious of the turn limit. Right, what are you going to do now, Malkesha? Doesn't look like... Hmm. Maybe just run back up here and get some healing. I don't really need you to be over here. Okay, so now the drone can attack you, and that's okay. I actually would like it if this drone came out of its hole and decided to attack at this stage. And if it doesn't, well, sure, whatever. <laughs> hmm, alright. Malkesha, usual job, battering ram against creatures that really don't, you know, <laughs> don't merit the attention. Um, 
who's down here? How much can I trust them to not just kill me? Alright, quite a lot of people are down here. But most of them are not the kind of units that will actually attack me. You are, you are, you are. Um, but on the whole, I feel like I don't think Revelli is likely to die from this. Good. Hmm. Well, my all my spectres can can get in on the uh, on Ruri, the Chaos Invoker, which is nice. So I'm going to send Blady in first. All right, and we've got a blue leader ahead of us. Wow, okay, Blady's on fire today. Glad that he's not literally on fire because Blady has um, only 10% resistance to fire. I mean, I actually thought those guys had negative resistance to fire. I'm quite surprised. Okay, Death B, you want to go and, uh, and have a go at this side crawler? That was pretty weak. But you won't get too affected by cold damage. Kill the flow system. We don't like flow systems. Thorns. over here that can do anything useful. Alright, we can see that there's a matrix core and we can take that out. This is going to get very clustered, this pack passage, so everyone else is going to have to go around. Uh, maybe Igor, you just stay where you are and get 10 hit points. None of these guys are going to get aggroed. You eventually will, little fire dude, because I'm going to come down and attack these um, matrix flow systems, which I keep calling trees. Right, they're not trees, not really. They, they got called trees in the previous level, and for some reason it's stuck in my head that they're trees. But they are not trees! Huh, where was I? <clears throat> that can actually see more than that, unless there are any invisible creatures around, in which case you might get damaged. What? Ineffectual exchange. It's almost dead, it'll die if it attacks me. Or should. Now these two... What do they want to do? Do they want to go and kill the Matrix core? Because they could. Or rather, are they going to attack this imp? I mean, the imp's so pathetic. I feel like it would be a better use of their time to attack the Matrix core. I want to know there's no one back here, though. And it doesn't look like there is. There is a passage up there, but I'm okay with that. 
Okay. So, who wants to kill? Oh. Oh. That's dead. Well, Keshar can move forward a bit, and now you, little imp, have a choice of who you come and attack. Can you kill a tree? No, you can't. Not even close. you there. Okay. Probably not surprising there that um, Curiel decided to go. Ah, shame you didn't get the kill. Okay, that attack is just beautiful now that it does this much damage. Um, I do kind of want to kill these. Doesn't seem like a bad idea to get some experience. And actually you, Igor, you could even get in there. I mean you'd get you'd be in range of the Razor Man. You'll be safe down there unless there are nasty invisibles. I don't want to do that just yet. So you go there. And then Igor, you come up behind. My income is looking pretty healthy now. If I can keep this going, then um, I might as well just wait till the end of turns anyway. But I'm going to get towards the end of the map before waiting for the end of the turns. Ooh, that was pretty jammy. I'll, I'll take it. Well, Kesha, you head straight forward. Well, Linear, this is not your strength, I know that. But I can use you to help the bat get a kill. You can't. You... Slow elves again. Slow elves in caves. A little bit of health for you, not that you need it. 
at all. Alright, let's see if Renan comes out of his cave now, or if I suddenly get swarmed by invisible creatures. This imp is tentatively <laughs> advancing. Well, Kashar can't get in. You can get in. You can get in. If you go up here... Okay, that's a lovely round 40 damage, and you almost can kill him with one hit. Maybe if you... Well, you just need one whale, so let's try that. Three whales, it'll do. One hit, please. What can I see? Okay, I can see another abomination. Yes! Okay. And then you kill the imp. The bat can flit around a bit. I think rather than going in and trying to fight and potentially dying, the bat can just flit around a bit getting villages. Oh, okay. There's a... you can... yeah. Okay. Well, I just won't go up there then. Lol. Good work, Arathan. Oh, you're so slow. Well, you can get the house. No point going up there. You come down here. Can you even aggro someone? No, not quite, I think. Oh, not sensibly. No. Tempting to aggro you and only you with Igor, but I have learned my lesson about invisible creatures. Send the bat down to scout. Alright, this is actually quite a nasty area. But at least I'm making southward progress now. And two leaders have been defeated. Um, looks like there's only one left, uh, the green leader. There are occasional green units trickling my way, so that makes sense. I 
And these people are pretty well defended here. How much defense have you got? Okay. So if I form a nice wall of spectres here... I think that's the way to play this. And then I'll get you in behind to heal those two, which are the most likely to be attacked and damaged. If you go there, you will get the healing as well. You just run as far as you can down the road, because you're slow. And you come over, maybe over here, and get ready to strike out. Yeah, you're very slow. So actually, you can come over here. Don't need you to remain hidden particularly. So you just hang out there. I could have I could have used this castle to recruit some more people. I think it actually would be probably a bad idea. It's probably best to try and complete the scenario with the units that I've got, given that there's no guarantee my gold balance would be positive at this time. Alright, you don't want to come out of your mushrooms? I respect that, but I want you to come out of your mushrooms, and I will push the issue if need be. There's a leech down there, I don't like leeches. Giant leech, no less. Okay, good bit of experience there. Abominations are basically, I mean, they're not, they don't call themselves such, but they're effectively all level 2 soulless. They've got one less attack, they're not undead. Okay, that's a bad analogy. They're not level 2 soulless, they're something else. Huh. calculated that and now I'm gonna to have to send a wraith around here to deal with the issue who will then be in range of a zombie and a drone that's okay and you do heal up a bit when you when you kill the abomination so they're definitely not undead And now it's Malkashar who's being slow. And you actually ought to stay where you are, because otherwise you'll get attacked by a soulless, and I don't really want that to happen. Elinia and the Wraith are the only people in range of that right now. Next turn I can aggro the leech. Alright, about halfway through the turns, by about I'm about halfway down the map, I think. I think. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Um Can anyone get round the leech? No, not quite. But first things first, I need to take out this zombie who's in the middle, this soulless. But unfortunately, most of my units are moving very slowly here. So I think that's really possibly a job for a spectre. A 
also be still a job for a Spectre. Or a Linear, actually. You can't really do anything else, can you? No. You could go down here. And then you could help the bat get another kill. Actually, why am I scared of a giant leech now? I shouldn't be scared of a giant leech now. They've got a drain attack, but they're not that powerful. I think it's mostly a legacy effect that I'm scared of them still. Alright, the bat heads towards dread bat status. Coveted dread bat status. This spectre is going to go over here and is going to kill this matrix flow system. Free health! Um, you advance, but be on your guard. You can come and try and kill this. Will you be... no. Good. Okay, still no kill for Sathenia, who is who's rapidly proving herself to be of limited usefulness. Alinea is going to get attacked by the giant leech, unless I do something about it. That was very unsuccessful. Okay, well, I want you to die. And obviously I'm not going about it the right way. In fact, my Night Gaunt could get killed here, which would be a shame because my Night Gaunts always get flipping killed. But I think they would have to be quite lucky with pierce damage to kill a Night Gaunt. You've got decent resistance. Same with impact. Okay, don't go there. Not not quite as far as you can go because yeah, you go there. Same with you. You don't want to overshoot. What's over here? Interesting. I, I, I don't think it's a very practical direction to go in, but it is a direction. Maybe I can explore it with my spectres and ghosts. But later. Later. Oh, okay. So the black player didn't do anything. N none of the players did anything. Interesting. And it seemed like only yesterday when this last happened. Um, Elenia is now at... Uh, gets a strength 4 after maximum level advancement, and is now just as tough as Malkishar is. And I think that's all I'm going to do on the strength front, if there are any more strength upgrades. They can... Hey! Oh yeah! Yeah, no, she's not quite as tough as Malkishar. That was a miscalculation. I thought that was what she already had. Okay, so I want to see what's over here. And I'm ambushed by a little green dude who is now going to get walloped. Alright, so Thinia, try this again. <laughs> he still can't get it! Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Alright, what about the bat? There we go. <clears throat> okay, there are more drones up here. That's not very exciting. And there's another matrix flow system. Okay, well that is exciting and I do need to go and kill it.
All right, everyone isn't everyone who isn't a bat or a ghost, come down here and help me fight the Matrix Flow system. Everyone who is, sorry, other way around. Get some nice drain damage. And now you two can't quite reach the Matrix Flow system, but that's fine. I think there's not too many other enemies down here. There's just yeah. to get rid of this one. Would be a shame if I had to... Yeah. Ah. I was kind of hoping I could avoid getting poisoned there, but that's fine. You're fast, you go there. And you come up here, and now whatever's up here won't be a threat to me. Is there going to be a boss fight down here? Looks like there might be, or something like that. Alright, well we're not going to find out just yet. Well, there was something I wasn't expecting here. And there is, there is, the path continues around. Kill! Yes. It's, it's a kill. There's a path here. All right, now can the two of you take out this drone? I hope so. Alright, oh, and I think that's actually... No, it's not your first after maximum level, it's your second. Or maybe it is your first. Either way, you're pretty tough now, and I really, really need you to not die. So that's good. Hopefully there are no more invisible, stabby people around. Should I be splitting my party like this? It does seem like this big empty cave is rather ominous. Like something bad is going to happen. Oh well, I've got Malkashar and Elenia down here. What's the worst? It's not quite a dead end. There are ways out. There's definitely a way out to the south.
Aha, yes. This would be the edge of the map. If it is the edge of the map, that's a very good reason not to go that way. What's the actual objective? Proceed south to the cave exit. Hmm. What about over here? That's blocked. Alright, well this is the cave exit. I hope I won't win when I get out there, because first I want to explore what's going on up here. And there is still a green enemy somewhere around here. But with the cave exit in sight, that is where I'm going to take a break. This is the end of part two of three, I think. And I will see you all next time.